What is good? Back to the Daily Zender number 100. Just getting done leaving Publix. As I got an assortment of food. Got a uh, foot-long sub there. I got some uh, dates and other fruits, mainly being a kiwi and uh, a red peach. And also a uh, purple peach, which I'm sure it's more probably. That's actually a plum, probably, I would say. And then an avocado which you can't necessarily see that great, but that's what I got going on from my eats for uh, traveling now from, I'm in an area called San Lado, I believe that's the area. So it's just about northwest of where I live in Altamont Springs as uh, the closest Wells Fargo to me from my place is in Longwood and then from Longwood, the Wells Fargo branch, the closest Chase Bank uh, where I, uh, deposit check in my landlord's account is uh, in San Lado rather than going back to Altamont Springs to save me some time since the banks do close at uh, 2 in the afternoon so it makes it easier for me so I got that done and then right next to the Chase is uh, Publix where I got some food. I'm going to eat the food while I uh, travel to go to the gym which is probably another mile and a half or so from here so just giving me some energy to uh get there and also have a workout. I'm going to do testosterone optimization training. So it'll be a quick 15 to 25 minute workout of solid heavy dumbbell lifting and a short amount of rest time form for a short amount of sets. And I can film it. But when I film it, I don't have the music on or the earpods, earbuds, earbuds in. So <laughs> I really like to uh, work out with music because it just puts me in that flow state. Um, but we'll see if I do it or not. Um, but yeah, this is Daily Xander 100 I want to touch on. Um, I'm not a third of the way through an entire full year of video thoughts. But uh, 100 definitely uh, is a mark from here on out that all the Daily Xanders I upload are going to be in the triple digits so from here on out it'll always be three numbers I type rather than just two so that's uh, very significant for me it just kind of showcases another not showcases but it, it just lends that uh, kind of continually evolving and growing with uh, the videos that I continually uh, put out and it holds me accountable for sure although I haven't yet uploaded 99 even though I said I was going to last night my phone actually died but by the time you watch this, you would already watch number 99, and you're currently watching number 100. And I would say one big thing after doing 100 of these in a row for me is just how fast time flies. feels like just yesterday, and you can say this with so many things. Other people can say the same exact thing. Time certainly flies by, and it just feels like yesterday when I started uh, my first one in my hotel room just saying like I'm looking for something to do and this is just a project of mine and even though I didn't use the word project but it's kind of evolved into more of a project and something that is a self-development tool for me being able to just take out my phone and without even doing any planning or really any investment tool wise to uh, enhance uh, what I film and essentially just focuses around my thoughts and just talking into the camera wherever I'm at. And uh, I want it to obviously grow and go more into adding people in it, whether it be like interviews or, or showing just experiences, of course. But doing 100 of these and knowing where it kind of first started to where it is right now really just shows how fast time flies. And yes, I'm young, but at the same time, time goes by really fast, so I'd really like to take action and capitalize on things I really want to do. Um, because 23, but wake up next, wake up. Before I know it, I wake up and uh, be 30, 40, 50, and I'm not not hating on those ages or anything. Um, but it just, uh, it just uh, kind of show like if uh, you don't take action soon, um, you wake up and uh, you find yourself looking back. Um, not necessarily filled with regrets, but just kind of knowing like, wow, I really wasted some time if I really want to do something. And I really want to do something and uh, I got to continually uh, 
push myself in the momentum to get in that direction to start accomplishing things that I want to do. And those things that I want to do, um, I want to aim for some high goals. And right now, my main focus is being able to travel. That's something I really want to do. And around the ability to travel, I need to find find ways that I can support that travel and travel that takes me into um, cultures that speak a different language because again it kind of goes back to being in uncomfortable situations and for me to be in a comfortable situation why not go to a place or a country that doesn't even speak the language I know that I've known for my entire life that I'm fluent in the only language I can speak um, that definitely puts you in a different setting and uh, it's definitely going to bring out and force you to uh, to experience new situ- uh, situations and how to go about them. So that's something I really want to do, and that's why I'm looking at potentially doing personal trainer on cruises. Even though I'm on the boat most of the time, I'm still getting. I don't have to worry about paying for travel around, and there'll be off time. Although it might not be much at a time, but there'll be off time to travel around a little bit in those ports we stop at. Um, even though those ports are mainly like tourist traps, but it, it's still kind of playing off the concept and it's slowly uh, leading to eventually however I can work it out to where I'm traveling more through, uh, through whatever it is I'll be doing. Um, but yeah, I certainly uh, don't want to take the normal approach um, that a lot of people, people do, whether it's kind of that 9 to 5 job in one set location, um, just uh, just want to continually grow and evolve. I have to say from a daily Xander number 100, and like I said with the Laffirmation, what did I say for the Laffirmation? <laughs> I said like an hour and a half or two hours ago, and uh, <laughs> I'm blanking on what I said. Oh, what was it? I'm having, I, I can almost, I can almost think about it, but uh, it was really simple too. <laughs> blanking on it um, and also I'm going to I'm going to probably say it later on but I'm going to have a six word uh, story or statement for the day too so that, that's more to come but anyways I'm going to eat this food right now and make my way to the gym and we'll see about filming so more to follow stay tuned Daily Xander 100 milestone keep on listening watching observing and living a humorous lifestyle <laughs>